doors does D220B apply? This is the provision which requires particular doors to swing in the direction of egress. And the intent is to ensure that should crowding occur at the door, um, it's hard, when there's crowding, it's hard to pull the door towards you. Swinging it away from the direction of, well, in the direction of egress allows people to get out. And people would be aware that there's been some horrible um, tragedies on account of swinging doors. So using the same floor plate, which doors here must swing in the direction of egress? We've got the actual exits. I'm sure we all agree that these must swing in the direction of egress when we get into the exit here and also this door in a required exit. But what about this door? We've, we've had a bit of interest in this door, our secure door. It's catching a fair bit of space and it could be quite likely that people are travelling through there in order to access the fire isolated passageway. Does this door need to comply with D220 and swing in the direction of egress? Any, any nods? Anyone, anyone brave enough? Any nods for yes or shake their head for no? Or Who's just waiting to see, see what this guy at the front says because I, I don't want to get this wrong and get embarrassed. That's, that's, what every, that's, that's what everyone's doing. We're all waiting for the answer, aren't we? We've got to know. It doesn't have to. Thank you. Very, very, very brave, sir. Any yeses in the room? We've got a yes. Okay. What's the answer? Let's have a look at the actual provision, shall we? D220. When we look at the text of the provision, we're seeing that it's very similar to D221, the provision we just looked at, except it only applies to two types of doors, doors in a required exit or doors forming part of a required exit. We don't talk about doors that are in the path of travel to a required exit. We're only capturing the first two, in a required exit or forming part of a required exit, those doors which have something to do with an exit. These are the only types of doors which have to swing in the direction of egress. And the door in the hallway is neither of these. It's only the door which is in the path of travel to a required exit. So this is okay under the deemed to satisfy provisions of the National Construction Code. So thank you very much for your bravery, sir, with the yes. Um, but it doesn't have to. I see a hand up in, over here. Um, I will take questions in a moment. Just give me one slide, please, sir. Um, we have to keep in mind there's a few other provisions which apply to swinging doors. We've got, uh, besides D220, so again, um, our specification C3.4 on the screen here. So when you have your smoke walls and a smoke door in your smoke wall, this is in your hospitals, aged cares, and your corridors more than 40 metres in accordance with C214 in your class twos and threes. Uh, they have to go in both directions or in the direction of egress. Um, we've also got G4.3A in alpine areas where you, the actual exit has to come in because there could be snow build up outside. Uh, we've got some concessions in part H3 for farm buildings and farm sheds. Uh, and also D3 we've mentioned before. It might be that you need to uh, take into account door swing for circulation spaces under AS 